Okay, yeah, hello. How's everybody doing today? Okay, well, we're going to go on a bit of a journey here. Uh, I haven't done it yet myself. Pretty smart guy. It's just checking the valve clearances on uh, 06 CRF 250X. Um, valve clearances are really tight on this bike right now. And we got to... We gotta shim them, make it right. It doesn't want to run properly when it's not shimmed correctly. Okay, so pretty straightforward. Just remove your valve cover. Okay, and then take a feeler gauge. Feeler gauge, right there. Pretty inexpensive little tool. All these valves need to meet a spec. Intakes, 0.12 of a millimeter. Exhaust, 0.28 of a millimeter. Anywhere within 0.03 on each intake and exhaust. Those are the specs, okay? The two exhaust valves are at uh, 0.04, so they're getting pretty tight. Um, the exhaust valve, or the intake valve, sorry. Uh, one is like at uh, 0.01, one is at 0 0.03, I believe. Yep. So, there's a little calculation you got to do with this. Okay, so I've written it all out here. Okay. A equals B minus C plus D. A is your new shim thickness. Okay, go ahead and record the valve clearances as they set. Okay, which will be B. There's the exhaust. B. Intakes B. 0 0.3, 0 0.03, sorry, 0 0.01. Okay, 0 0.12 are the clearances. They don't want to run right when they're that tight. Okay, so I got my other camera going here too. I'm going to keep it going. Um, I'm going to just go in and out because I haven't done this job before. So I'm going to go ahead and start pulling the uh, the uh, cam cover bolts off. Go from there, they have specified torque and everything to put them back on. So I've done, I've got my clearances already. I've got, I've got B, recorded valve clearance, okay? So we've written that down. We put it just as the bike's sitting, right hand exhaust, left hand exhaust, left hand intake, right hand intake. So we're going to go from there. I'm going to shut this down for a minute and I'm going to pull the cam out and uh, we'll go back from there. Okay. Okay. So what I forgot to mention, first of all, cam chain tensioner. Got that out of there. I've made a mark on the cam chain and the uh, cam wheel itself. There is two timing marks right there though. So as long as those are in the same spot, then we're good. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and pull the uh, cam journals off. Okay, so we've pulled off the cam journals. Right there, okay, rag down in the top. We are videoing with my other uh, little GoPro thing. Okay, the bearing races fell, didn't fall, they fell out of the, the cam journal, they were laying on top of the bearing. So be careful of that stuff. When you're pulling this stuff apart, be careful. Okay, and there was one um, cam journal dowel left in the top of the head. It didn't come out with the cam journal itself. There's another thing to be careful of. Okay, so now to remove this cam, this bearing, Right there, I'll pull this rag out of here in a sec, slides over towards the cam chain sprocket. Then you can hang the cam. So I need two hands to do that. There's no way I'm filming. Like I said, this is the first time I've done this. I'm a little bit nervous, um, but it's okay. Everybody's got to learn together, right? So, okay. Okay, here we go. I've got my mark on there. I've got a mark on the timing chain. Okay. 
there's the diamond chain hung. Okay. Then this way, I hope I can splice these together, no problem. I don't think I should, I should be able to. So now you get a better look the inside. Okay, now we're gonna pull these cam buckets out. Okay. Gonna pull these cam buckets out and see what size of shim is in here. We'll put the cam with this stuff here. Be nice and clean, nice and tidy. Okay, so I just pulled the left side intake cam bucket out. Let's see if we can see this here. Okay, can you see that? There you go. There's the shim. They should be stuck in the cam bucket, but they could get stuck to the top of the valve too. That's why you try and use a magnet to pull it out. Okay. So there's that. I'm just gonna have a look and see. I'm gonna put this on a caliper. And see what the thickness is. Okay, so we pulled that shim out of that bucket. I put it back over here. Okay, there it is right there. Okay, what did we say that was? Uh, 1.86, that is on the left side of the intake. Okay, so we did our math. So we're basically reducing, reducing the shim size. Okay, you need this kit to do this. Okay. Hot cams, complete valve shim kit. I'd be so careful opening this. There's like a hundred shims in this thing. So, one point, what do we got? One seven five. That's probably as close as we're gonna get. Um, I think we'll go to a one seven five on that one because the next one's a one eight zero. Seven, five, six, seven. It's a closer increment uh, without going too high, right? Okay, so 177 there to 175, which should be fine. We'll, we'll check all the valve clearances. I'm gonna close this thing up before I spill it. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and pull. Here's what the top of this the cam bucket out you can see here we've got that's one with the cam bucket off it there's one with the cam bucket on it okay so I'm gonna go ahead and pull this next cam bucket keeping everything in order like crazy order because I don't want to be mixing up parts okay that's the old shim right there we'll end up putting that let's see what that oh I did mark it it was a one what the hell was it uh, 1.86. So yeah, you can see that these things are slowly, the valves are just getting smashed to shit. That's all they do in these 06s. So I, did, I had another project planned for this bike. I wasn't going to do this, um, shimming up the kit, but I couldn't get the parts out of the States for the way I wanted to do because this whole coronavirus thing, um, they just didn't have any manufactured and I probably couldn't get it till August and there's no bloody way I'm waiting till August to go riding being that it's like what June 12th today yeah no I don't think so so anyway okay I'm gonna carry on with the next bucket and we'll go from there alrighty okay so we put the new new shims in put buckets in and I've done the exhaust valve shims as well. Okay. If you want to go over a quick tutorial here, math wise. Okay. So, B. Okay, this will be your intake valve on the left side of the bike. B is your recorded valve clearance. C is your specified valve clearance. Let's see. Okay, there you can see it here. D is the old shim thickness, so that'll be your worn down shim, and that's why the valves are getting tight. Okay, 
So you take B minus C plus D equals, that comes up with your shims, okay? Obviously there's an auto 177. Here's these shim kits right here. There's not a 177 in there. So you'd go to like a 175. I even mic'd them. I mic'd the 180. Um, it, we ended up using 180s because they were closest to the 177. Um, I think they were even smaller. You got you got to mic all of these with a caliper. Every one of them. Okay, guys. Here we go. I got the cam back in. It was a little bit of a bugger to play with that, but not too terribly bad. Okay, I made that mark on there. Okay, now you can see the two timing marks. There's one right there. Oh, and there's one right, where the hell am I? Right there. Okay, now I know that's good because I lined everything up. I made a mark on the timing chain. As long as those two marks are in the same spot, they say that both marks have to be visible. This has to be done at top dead center on the compression stroke. Okay, so I'm just about, cam lobes are facing the right way, so we know we haven't gone 360 degrees backwards, or 180 backwards, whatever. Okay, so I'm gonna put the cam journals back on now. We'll go from there. I'm gonna look up what the torque specs are all right, so got everything all back together here. Cam journals are on, torque down. I didn't trust the torque wrench I had. It was in inch foot pounds. No offense to who the guy I bored it from. Didn't know how long I'd been sitting around. I converted foot pounds to inch pounds, which is 144 inch pounds. Um, yeah, so it was right. But I didn't want to try. I didn't want to chance it. Um, I went and borrowed a snap on one from the guy down the street, local garage here. He was nice enough to loan it to me. I'll buy him some beer on my way back from wherever. So yeah, I think we're golden here. I think we just got to throw the uh, valve cover back on, hook up the tank. Go from there. I think I'm going to stop this video for a bit. I'm going to have a pause. I'm going to have a bit of a break. Check stuff out here. See what time it is. Go from there. Okay, right on. This next bit might be in a part two. I'm not sure, but we'll see. Um, so next we'll be flashing it up. Okay, uh, remember, subscribe. Subscribe, like, comment. Thanks. Talk to you guys soon.